So what school are we at here today? Uh, we are at Catholic Junior College in Singapore. And what's your name? Uh, my name is James Lee. And James Lee, uh, you re related to Bruce Lee? No, no. No, okay. And how old are you? I'm 18 this year. Okay. Why is education right. so serious here in Singapore? I think um, because now in the working world it's uh, extremely competitive and right. um, what we need is actually a, a strong education and a, um, a, good, a very good set of results for okay. us to get into uh, the courses that we uh, wish to uh, take. Okay, have your parents had, have your parents told you this? Yes, definitely. Uh, from a young age. Uh, from a young age, right. Yeah, from a young age. They have uh, supported me and they have always been my pillars of strength. Okay, so you have a high respect for your parents. It's high respect, definitely. Okay, and um, do you think it's a good thing that they pushed you and made sure that you got a good definitely, education? Definitely, definitely. Uh, right, you don't resent it. I don't resent it, although sometimes it may, it may be quite... Um, I, I, I don't feel, I, I, don't, um, I don't agree with them in right. terms of, but I, I, I know that it's for the better of me in the end. Right, yeah. okay. And, and last but not least, what, what do you want to do in life? Um, I want to be... I want, I, want to be, I want to do something um, on the, in the lines of uh, law okay. and, or commerce, right. yeah, business. Be a lawyer, make a lot of money. <laughs> All right. What school are we at here today? I'm at Catholic Junior College in, in Singapore. In Singapore. And what's your name? I'm Tiffany Lim. Okay. And how old are you? I'm 18. Okay. So why do, why do you think they take education so serious here in Singapore? What's think, the reason? Um, it's because from young, everyone has... Everyone around us has been telling us about how important it is to get a good education. Okay. And furthermore, to get into the jobs that we require, like in uni, we need to attain a certain score which is relatively high mm -hmm. compared to other places. Okay. And in Singapore, there are a lot of people who are trying to apply for those places in the universities. So it's really competitive. Yes. It's like a like a sport almost, right? Yeah. Okay. How about your parents? Did they influence you, like from an early age, to start thinking about this stuff? They they don't directly tell me about it, but I can see it from how they try to send me and my brother to good right. schools from young, so that we can um, learn the correct values and hopefully that will contribute and help us. Right. Design. But what I guess when you were in secondary school, you wouldn't be allowed to go home and be on Facebook four or six hours a day. Um. Actually, my mom. Um, lets me do what I want, but she ensures that I do my work. So sure. If I can cope, it's fine. Okay. And what do you want to do in life? Um, when I grow up, I want to be a doctor. A doctor. Yeah. So you're really going to have to do well on your A-level test, yeah. right? Okay, well, good luck. Cubicles of all the teachers, right? The whole staff works. This is staff room. Okay. And you have three other staff rooms. Two more. Two more staff rooms. Wow. And is this a teacher's desk over here with all the books on it? Yes. Wow. <laughs> Darn. So and so, what do you think is the benefit of this? All the teachers can kind of work together and get, uh, talk uh, and collaborate and, and and share their their experiences. Their experiences. Yeah. I mean, sometimes frustrations even. Yeah. Okay, about students. Sure. About, uh, work and stuff. Do you think if the you didn't have this system here and all the teachers were in their own classroom, uh, like in America, basically, they're, they're What do you think about a system like that? Do you think um, that I, I guess it's harder for us to, to, to know about our colleagues and find out a little bit of right. colleagues. And when it comes to the need for us to collaborate, uh, I, I guess that is going to be a barrier. Right. It's going to be, uh, it's, it's a little bit difficult for us to, com to, to, to be able to communicate because we don't understand each other. Uh, what right. is the administrative leadership track? How does it work? You have to be a teacher first, right? Yes, yeah, definitely. You, you start off as a beginning teacher. Right. Okay, and then um, you work about uh, three years. Okay, but by, by, by the third year, you're out of this beginning teacher track okay. and then um, you will be allowed to choose uh, the path that you take uh, depending on your interest your inclination uh, the teaching track is a track where uh, teachers are very serious about uh, developing their pedagogy okay how to go about teaching content knowledge of the subject is it's really uh, very good okay um, but for teachers along the leadership track they are um, they are much more interested in in developing along the lines of uh, administration, right. administration in education. Okay. So uh, we we strategize right. okay, how uh, at different levels. Right. Like, for example, for me, if I'm, I'm a head of department for the humanities, I strategize for the humanities department. Okay. Um, if if you are leader in a school context, like the vice principal, you you have to strategize for the school. Okay. okay. So your your department head, how long have you been teaching? Um, I've been teaching for thirteen years. Thirteen years. Yes. 13. Okay. This is my fourteenth year. Okay, yeah. mm. so typically, how many years does it take to be a VP? Um, it, 
takes six to six to perhaps six seven to ten years. Ten years. Ten, Fifteen years. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So some, some will take longer. Some okay. will take shorter. So your your department head. So do you still teach? I, I yeah I do still teach, but uh, at a reduced load. How much reduced? Um, okay, I get about um, forty percent of a typical teacher load. Oh, only 40%. Yes, and the rest of the time is department heads. Uh, yes, uh, right. how I go about uh, doing administrative work, okay. uh, managing the, the and departments. Uh, how many department heads do they have at this school? Um, we have about 13 department heads. 13 department heads. Yes. So they're all only, they all only teach 40%. Yes, 40-50%. Yes. Wow, and the rest of the time. And what do you do as a department head? Um, I go about um, basically Leading the team, okay, mm -hmm. the, the whole entire department, okay, um, deal with uh, administrative aspects of the department, mm -hmm. okay, uh, plan, okay, uh, monitor, execute, uh, implement um, initiatives. Do, do you go in to help teachers? Uh, no, that, that's a job of the senior teachers. Okay. Yeah, uh, we do mentor teachers, okay, to a certain extent, okay, uh, but our our mentorship role is not towards uh, uh, the actual teaching part, but rather. Um, holistic development of the teacher. Okay. Okay, so um, technically to put it put it straightforward, it's, it's, uh, we are reporting officers. Okay, Repo we are su supervisors of teachers. Okay. Yeah. So, so you go in and try to make sure things are in place. Are in place. Yeah, correct. Okay. Yeah. And if like you get a complaint from a parent, uh, you take care of that. I'll take care of that. Not the assistant principal. Uh, this is, I mean, if it's, it's uh, it usually comes from assistant principal. Right. And then it will come down. You have to go and yes. see, work it out with the teacher. Yes, and... yes definitely. Okay. Yeah. So there's 13 of you here, department heads. Yeah. And then, so from there, where would you go from there at the next level? Um, the next level, ideally, it's vice principalship. Vice principal. Yeah, but um, some of us may not get there. Mm -hmm. uh, some of us may still uh, remain in department heads. Okay. okay. Uh, or some of us may switch track. Okay, after being a uh, department head for many years, right. I decided to pursue uh, a particular interest in the subject area of right. teaching. Uh, I'll just switch to, to teaching track. Okay, and so after a vice principal, would be a principal. Yeah. And how many vice principals are here? Uh, two vice principals. Two vice principals. Yeah. Okay, and do, do you, I'm sure you don't have a lot of discipline problems here. Uh, not as compared to the state. Right, principals. okay, because I'd say most assistant principals in the U.S. system, or at least in the schools I've been at, they spend the majority of their time with student discipline. Yeah. So they, they don't have a lot of time to help teachers. Um, yeah, uh, I, uh, for some secondary schools, uh, mm -hmm. you get this problem as well. Okay, because uh, of the amount of time that you spend um, dealing with uh, parents' complaints, okay, yeah. uh, incidents in school, right. um, um, students getting into trouble. Mm -hmm. So, so they, they get very little time to, to deal with uh, the actual teaching in the classroom. Right. How, how, how efficient What's the going on? are. And, and yeah, exactly. Because all, yeah. all their time's taken. The teaching and learning aspect of the school. Right. Yeah. And that should be what it should be on. Yeah, correct. All right. All right. So you guys help buffer that, that your department head. Sometimes you have to kind of work in a supervisory position with your colleagues, teachers. Yes. Is that sometime a little uncomfortable or not? Um, no, not really. Not really? Because, yeah, when this, we started off this career with uh, that system already place. Right. So it's, it's not something new to us. Right. So it becomes second to nature. Mm -hmm. that, uh, I used to have my department head as my reporting officer, right. my supervisor. So um, everybody started off the same uh, right. level of thing. So this is how you keep the teacher level the quality, the quality very control. high, yeah. Because you're actually all there's there's a monitoring process yes. to make sure this thing is always in place. In place. Yes. Wow.